Welcome to Buffalo, New York, the city of good neighbors. In the heart of the Queen City's Theater District stands its crown jewel, the Shays Buffalo Theater. Empresario Michael Shays' vision for his final theater was the creation of a movie palace rivaling the great opera houses of Europe. Ground was broken on January 15, 1925. Although they planned on acquiring more, Michael and his partner, Pliny McNaughton, were only able to purchase two of the stores lining Main Street for the theater. For the design, Michael Shea commissioned the renowned Rapp Brothers of Chicago, architects of more than 100 movie theaters. Buffalo's premier movie palace was originally budgeted to cost $1 million. By comparison, the average home cost at the time was a few thousand dollars, and a brand new Model T, $360. Ultimately, Michael would spare no expense. Shea's Buffalo Theater opened one year and a day later, on January 16, 1926, at a cost of $1.9 million. Buffalonians bought a royal experience for the price of a 65-cent movie ticket. Paramount Studios' The King of Main Street was the first film to play at Shea's Buffalo. In the 1970s, Shays fell into disrepair and faced the wrecking ball. Friends of the Buffalo Theater, a group of volunteers, stepped up and rescued Shays from impending demolition. Today, Shays is on the National Register of Historic Places and under the management of the Shays O'Connell Preservation Guild. The original pediment and finials were glazed terracotta, like the facade. Due to weather damage, they were removed in 1933 and painstakingly recreated in the early 2000s. The blade sign was taken down several years later. A replica, weighing over five tons and illuminated by 1,100 lights, was installed in 2004. These installations marked the completion of the theater's $4 million exterior restoration project. Today, Shea's exterior is an exact replica of the original. Upon entering, note the ticket booth. The marble is original to the building, but the wooden and glass sections are reproductions. Note the detail and the ornamental motifs. Beyond the ticket booth lies Shea's Grand Lobby. The interior was designed by world-famous designer artist Louis Comfort Tiffany. The lobby is a blend of Spanish and French architectural elements inspired by the Baroque period. Many of his designs are still in place today. The original terrazzo flooring was an ideal substitute for marble to ensure the lobby maintained a sense of splendor, but with a durability that could last generations. In addition to the dark marble walls, a plaster marbling technique known as scagliola can be seen in the white columns lining the lobby. This lightweight and customizable alternative to stone required a master craftsman and is all but indistinguishable from the adjacent natural counterpart. Climb the grand staircase and you will be greeted by Jules Lefebvre's Mignon, the little one. Originally belonging to the Vanderbilts of New York, this romantic neoclassical painting was a later addition and quickly became an iconic staple of the Shays experience. Despite what the designer name may suggest, the chandeliers were not created by Tiffany, but by the Victor Perlman Company. Comprised of Czechoslovakian crystal, these chandeliers have been restored over the years to their original glory. High above the Grand Lobby chandeliers can be seen the ornate, gold-trimmed, coffered ceiling. 
The mythically inspired images in this painting express a vaguely Celtic motif, but the overall iconographic significance has been lost to time. Originally created as a musician's balcony, today, Shea's Spotlight Members Lounge provides a spectacular view of Tiffany's lovingly restored masterpiece. Tailor-made draperies for both the grand and petite lobbies were added in 2008. Carefully reproduced, these draperies were manufactured by an Austrian textile company based on Tiffany's original renderings. This Herculean task was only possible thanks to the tireless research of the Shea's in-house restoration team. In the petite lobby can be found the Western New York Entertainment Hall of Fame. Each portrait by artist George Palmer hangs in recognition of area natives who have gone on to illustrious careers in the entertainment industry. True treasures of the original Movie Palace era can be found as you ascend to the second and third levels. Unique and lavish furnishings by Marshall Field & Company were once an exclusive staple of the Paramount Movie Palace experience. Today, these benches, settees, throne chairs, and even side tables like this Louis XVI table have been well preserved and provide an elegant and unified backdrop befitting the rich European aesthetic. Several sculptural pieces, including Joseph Mosier's Smiling Girl with Cat and Dog, were acquired shortly after opening. For all its lavish grandeur, the lobby is truly only a means to whet the appetite. Shea's Theatre originally boasted a veritable acre of seating, accommodating up to 4,000 patrons between the orchestra, loge, and balcony respectively. Today, new standards in safety and comfort have seen the house reduced to a slightly more modest 3,019 seats. Since its designation as a National Historic Site, Shea's Buffalo Theatre staff and volunteers have worked diligently to restore and preserve the integrity of the theatre's resplendent original design. Their efforts and dedication are evident. From hand stenciling over 7,000 square feet of walls to repairing the mighty Wurlitzer organ, the restoration efforts continue to this day. Shea's proscenium arch opening spans a total of 60 feet in width, making it one of the widest stages in the country. Over the course of several years, the auditorium has been painted and restored from the carpeted floor to the lofty ceiling. Today, Shea's restoration staff and volunteers continue with their endless efforts, restoring each wall, step, carpet, statue, seat, and light fixture by hand with meticulous care. Hidden artfully in plain sight, the Wurlitzer pipe organ at Shea's is one of the largest in New York State, second only to Radio City Music Halls. This magnificent instrument has been completely restored to working order, with four keyboards or manuals and 28 sets of pipes. This organ contains many rare and unusual features, including a complete set of percussion and horn instruments and an extensive array of sound effects. Another piece of Shea's Movie Palace past can be found just above the last row of balcony seating. Nestled away in the projection booth are two fully operable 35mm carbon arc projectors. Today, these sentinels of the silver screen quietly share their humble abode with spotlights, essential for today's live performances. Show graphics and names adorn the booth walls, each tag a theater tech tradition that has become a historic marker of Shea's more recent past. Climb higher still, and you'll find yourself up above the theater's great dome ceiling and the expansive catwalk system. Today, the catwalk is almost exclusively the domain of stagehands and the occasional opera phantom. 
Shay's next hidden historic treasure cannot be found high above in her lofty dome, but rather in her subterranean depths. A true innovative engineering marvel of its day, the original carbon dioxide air washer system was used to cool the theater when Shay's Buffalo first opened. Today, the theater is cooled by an energy-efficient HVAC system located on the roof. The theater's stage has also undergone a number of upgrades since its early cinematic and vaudeville days. A peek behind the majestic proscenium arch reveals the extensive expansion efforts undertaken to make Shea's Theater one of the best touring houses in the United States. In 1999, the original stage was expanded, increasing the wings and fly space and enlarging the stage depth by 40%. A new loading dock was added to accommodate the technical and visual pieces required of some of today's largest productions. These efforts solidified Shays as one of the best touring facilities in the nation. From Hamilton to Les Miserables, Shays stage is very well equipped to bring in any and every Broadway touring production. Actors and crew can expect a slightly more modest contemporary view as they make their way to the stage through the exclusive artist entrance and green room. Artists such as Cheetah Rivera, Carol Burnett, Tina Fey, Molly Ringwald, Kathy Rigby, Bob Dylan, Josh Groban, and Dave Chappelle all took their first steps into the Shays Buffalo Theater through these unassuming glass doors. The break room, located just below the stage, has become a site of a slightly different kind of historical record. Touring productions have taken to leaving their own mark on Shays, tagging the walls with paintings of both their show art and the autographs of company members. Actors' dressing rooms are located on the second through fourth floors of the stage house. With six ensemble suites, seven principal suites, and three star suites, Shays can easily accommodate the largest of casts, with a comfort rivaling the best of any Broadway theater. Over the past century, Shays Buffalo Theater, with its iconic, towering blade sign, has become an indelible part of the Buffalo landscape. Created as a monument to the grand and awe-inspiring power of the arts, today, Shays Performing Arts Center is proud to continue Michael Shays founding legacy of excellence as they bring the best of Broadway theater and beyond to Western New York. <laughs>